please join us in singing number 673, located in the green hymnal, number 673, Be Not Afraid.
ladies on the body of Monsignor Michael the sign that he was baptized in Christ Jesus and baptized into his love. You like while we begin, cherish the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life come blessed of my heart. In baptism, I'm seeing Michael receive the sign of the cross that he now share in Christ's victory over sin. That the soul of Monsignor Michael Thorne, your servant and priest, whom you honor with sacred office while he lived in this world, may you exalt forever in the glorious hope of heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Reading, a reading from the book of uh, Revelations. I, John, heard a voice from heaven say, Christ says, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, said the Spirit, let them find rest from their labors, for their works accompany them. The word of the Lord. For his name's sake, 
I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Why? Because while I was a priest, we all 
respect it. We respect the man, we respect the priest, we respect his opinion, and we respect his wisdom. My truth stands for independent. We all know. Father Mike did things in his own time and in his own way. <laughs> he will not be rushed. But he got the job done. And then I see in my what is that? <coughs> I think it is charitable. He always was ready to help, always ready to advise, always thoughtful. This charity meant that it was accountable because working from this charity, if he promised something, he always lived up to his promises. We didn't need to have his promises in writing, we knew that he would remember, and he always did. And also true to see, I think, stands for capable. The bishop would give him a task. He would take him capable and also carry through on it. Then the letter H in my book. How does this apply to all my book? H would be for fun. Just a couple days ago I was talking to a classmate of mine in another state. And I mentioned about Father Mike passing from this life to the next. And what was his comment? He knew Mike well. He says, Mike was a humble man. Here he is after 60 years. This last of mine still remembers Mike Warren as a humble man. Some years ago, the bishop passed the Pope to appoint Father Mike as Monsignor. And Paul Mike did not want to take the title. He preferred to call Paul Mike. But he was obedient to his bishop and accepted the honor. He kept his name to the family. He was trying to find out for the Pope, raising him to the honor of the Monsignor. A friend. A friend happened to just tell the family this is what had happened. Oh, wow. Another letter, or um, another H in Paul Mike's uh, <laughs> name is Honor. Over the years, Father Mike has been held in the highest honor by his bishop, fellow priests, and parishioners. For example, I'm sure you give you an example of the honor and respect of the honor that firm. While he was in the hospital, several times Bishop Kenneth came to visit him, prayed with him, and anointed him. Giving the anointing of the sick. Many priests came to pray with him too and show his support. Local people went to visit him as well, and people from as far away as Laurel came to pray with him and offer him their support. <coughs> Another characteristic of Father Mike in this age is what of humor. We would always be sure that Father Mike would come up with a funny and short comment. But you know, his comments were always, they always show deep respect for everyone. Never talked badly about anyone or made jokes about anyone. And then I think we could leave the age in Michael without the word hurry. He never was in a hurry. <laughs> 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 You don't get the job done. And then there's a pain in my hand. He was available. He was available to priests and to people. And then there's a E in my hand. How does that affect him? I think E stands for energy. I remember when we thought Mike was in Mexico, in Saltillo. He would leave Saltillo. Drive straight to the even where I was stationed. Just stop for gas on the way. Never stop for no gas or anything like that. Kept going. The energy was always there. And of course, he always had energy for going out into the villages in Mexico to walk the pass and hear the precious there. And the better I for Michael, how does that apply to all of us? The word would be love. Love the Lord, love the church.
church. He loved his family. He loved the people who trusted his care. And I think another letter too that begins with L, the other word, would be loyal. You could depend on him. His word was sacred. His lips were sealed. Many years ago, when the life was being set up, there were some differences of opinion between the then bishop and some priests. Paul Mike had an important role in all this in the new diocese. And he was kind of go between between the then bishop and the priests. Paul Mike was loyal to Paul. He was loyal to the bishop. He was loyal to the priests. And they all knew it. And they all trusted him. But loyalty in Paul Mike does not just stay there. Loyalty is a quality in the foreign family. Father Mike's brothers and sisters are here today. There's May, Corey, Kathleen, Noah, and Josephine, all the five. They've been here since late March. Loyal to Father Mike. Frank, um, Father Mike's brother couldn't come. His daughter here again. His granddaughter, who they came, they all came from Ireland and said all that they knew because they are loyal, a loyal family. There are many other qualities too, which I would mention for Father Mike. We all know, we've seen it in but just with the, with the spelling of Michael, I think that would be sufficient. A question that always comes up. Is, is he in heaven? My words, how do we know? How do we say those things? We say, you know, somebody that suggests a church is in heaven. What do we know? Is what am I in heaven? Well, I do not know. Jesus said, in my father's house, there are many dwelling places. <laughs> so heaven is our father's house. I have no right to say who goes there to his house. He decides. You be my people go to your house. And our Father God decides who goes to his house. So we cannot assign anybody to heaven because it's a matter between our Father God and the person themselves. And let's say if I were to say that Father Mike is in heaven, I would be doing a great disloyalty to him. I would be letting him down. <coughs> You see, if I say that God makes in heaven, then nobody prays for him. Everybody thinks Father Mike is in heaven, he doesn't need our prayers. But you know, we all need prayers when we are called on this life. If we are in heaven and someone prays for us, God makes sure that those prayers are applied to the person. If this person is already in heaven, no problem. Prayer is not going to waste. The prayers that we offer for God Almighty, they are a gift to him. He gave the gifts to us. Now it's our turn as well to give <coughs> him gifts as well by praying for his soul. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful depart through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen.
taken and not been for so many years. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for his heart to your missions and for the many friends he made there over the years who have remained so loyal to him. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace throughout the whole world, peace in our families, and peace in our hearts. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for all those who helped Mike Michal since he became ill, especially <coughs> and all the priests of the diocese. We give thanks also to all those in health care who supported him in so many ways. Tory hymn is number 810, number 810 in your hymnal. May you walk with Christ.
Amen. And with your spirit.
That he may of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect. Especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph of Spirals, with the blessed Apostles and Lowly Spartans, with St. Patrick, St. Ignatius of Loyola, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our hope and those our mission, your wishes, all the clergy, <coughs> and the entire of your son is gained to the Lord. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have gathered here together before. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your fair land, Monsignor Florida, who you brought to you and brought to bed from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was invited in your soul to keep them like his. Mirrors of the time with him in your resurrection. When from the earth, we will raise up in the flesh those we have found, and transform our lonely body after the manner of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all our blessings to you, are the passing of this life in the Adidas new kingdom. Then we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of his own. We will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing you, our God, as you are. We shall be like you for all the ages and bless you with us. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you will serve the most in all that is in you. Through heaven, with heaven, in heaven, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours, for us and our friends.
Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Son of the Lamb. Our communion hymn is number 671, number 671 on eagle's wings.
tiene mayor amor que el que da la vida por sus amigos. Nadie me quita mi vida, yo la doy, pues esa es mi voluntad. Tengo el poder para darla y para recuperarla de nuevo. Yo soy el pan de vida, el que venga a mí no tendrá hambre, el que crea en mí nunca tendrá Nadie puede venir a mí si mi padre que me envió no lo atrae. Y este pan que les comparto es mi carne por la vida del mundo. Este pan baja del cielo y que lo coma vivirá para siempre. Yo soy el pan de vida. El que venga a mí no tendrá hambre, el que crea en mí nunca tendrá sed. Tomen todos este pan. Es mi cuerpo que yo doy por ustedes. Beban mi sangre del cáliz, derramada para mi nueva alianza. Cuando celebre mi cena, hágalo siempre en memoria mía. Yo soy el pan de vida, que me venga a mí no tendrá.
Um, I'd like to take 
this opportunity to thank all of you for your kindness, for your visits, for your care from the senior dormitory during his recent illness. They've been here with him day in and day out for many, many weeks. I know what they've gone through. We remember you in our prayers. They are thankful for all of your presence here today as the people from Jackson Baptist, Jackson Baptist from Pascagoula, from Sisters from Mobile, from Jack Sisters from Mobile, so many of the Hispanic community here, and especially so many from, so we came from Saltillo, Morelio is here, Dr. Inez is here, Dr. Lola, as well as many places. The family very much appreciates your presence. We all have wonderful memories of our business, of our mission in Saltillo, Mexico, but not seen the wrong to I was in the habit of drinking tea around 4 o'clock every evening. Mother Joe de la Jusa learned about it and began to join me. And if there's anything about Mother Joe de la Jusa, he's very punctual. He would show up at 4 o'clock. Then Monsignor learned it we were having tea at 4 o'clock. And if there's anything about Monsignor Thornton, it's his unpunctual. <laughs> he never showed up at 4 o'clock. He would show up at 4 15, 4 10, 4 20. Do you know began to wonder, was that a trade that he learned in Mexico? Or was it a trade that he actually taught the Mexicans? But we got used to it. He would show up at 420 at his own cup of tea, no food or finish. The ladies of the match would like to invite all of you to join our Monsignor family, to join May and Paula and Kathleen and Noel. Josephine and Josephine, to join in the cash hall immediately after the celebration. There is a lot of food available, so you are all invited over to the cash hall immediately after this mass. So let us now please stand for the final accommodation. <laughs> and now, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewells express our affection for him. May these our sadness and strength and our hope. For one day we shall joyfully pray to the day. When the love of Christ is now for all things, we shall all see him back in time. Song of farewell in response to each intercession. Receive his soul and present him to God the most high. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. May Christ call you take you to himself. May the angels greet you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God most high. Child of Christ, grant you to him, O Lord, and let him be to life. Child of God, and his soul. Into your hands, Father, from first, as we commend our brother, Monsignor Thornton, in the sure and certain hope. That together with all who have died in Christ, we will rise with him on the last day. And so we give you thanks for all your blessings that you bestowed upon the team during the 77 years of life here on earth, for their signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. First of all, Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ. And over to you and our brother, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, trusting in God, we have now prayed together for the season. Now we come to this last program. There is all the sadness in part, but we also take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see you again in the joyous presence. Although this family and this congregation differ today as a whole, the mercy of God will gather them together again in the joyous presence. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. May the angels of the heavens, may the Lord just come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, that you and eternal will be May the wives of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham, where Lazarus is born no longer, may you find him eternal life. Whoever believes in me, though that person dies, shall live, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And let him take his life shine upon him. His soul, and the souls of all the faithful depart, to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Now in peace, let us take our breath into this place of rest.
As we depart now and keep the memory of Monsignor Thornton in our hearts, let us joyfully sing together number 614, number 614, How Great Thou Art. Thank you. 